Hey yo, what's up everybody? It's Sin JJ. Today we're coming back with a video talking about the match match XPC the M2 Pro Miner, which I have bought previously on my channel itself. If you are watching over here, it's gonna pop up if you want to know more about it. So on my channel itself, I reviewed that uh, this miner itself can basically generate like 10, 10 to fifteen dollars worth of USD in uh, the MXC token and of course from there it is a stable one regardless of where you put it and of course the energy consumption wise it is very little uh, as low as an LED light bulb and of course it is a very I would say interesting device slash ecosystem to look into because they can provide uh, this X amount and of course from there we have like basically done a um, review and after that from that an unboxing and right now we are going to do a result of after seven days and of course some stuff that you will need to know before you get uh buy this device or whatsoever so on my channel itself disclaimer i'm affiliated with them by basically showing the referral link down below that you can use it and after they get a 50 euros off of your uh, the MX, the M2 Pro Miner, and of course this is only for those who use my promo code slash click on my link, and of course from that this will help out the channel by earning some affiliate money, and of course I would say that um yeah I'm not gonna sugarcoat my words, and after that from there force you to buy as many miner as possible, but of course this is all from my own personal opinion and experience, and of course from there you can judge on your own if you want to get M get them or not. So right now disclaimer is done, so we can jump onto the basically the recap on the Match X MXC. So previously on my video itself, I spoke about the MXC, the unboxing itself, and after that from there, um, yeah, basically taught you guys how to set it up. So if you want to, just uh, before we jump into the recap itself, kindly hit the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and of course turn on post notification if you have not. So basically on the video, previous video, I have talked about basically the recap of my first video, and after that, I'm just going to recap on the previous video uh, before that. So basically it's the unboxing, and after that, setting up the M2 Pro Miner, and then I will say it's very simple to set up. It is just a... Uh, as easy as just plug plug and after that from there just use your phone and after that that's it no other configuration and after that from there you will start earning and I, I really mean that you will start earning and after that from there setting up uh, on the app itself what I said basically the physical setup which is very simple a uh, power adapter plug plug here plug plug there and after that just put it on the power socket switch on the miner and after that the next thing is just over to the app scan the scan the QR code that is shown on the back of the miner and that's it you are ready to go and your miner is running and operating with if let's say you have valid internet so over here secondly you also can know how can you mine bitcoin on this device itself but unfortunately i tried to mine but there was a uh, maintenance so they are basically testing it and after that i would say that uh, from what i have known about this testing period itself it will be released after a month or so month or two and after from there it will be released back to the public and of course i would say yeah if you want to just watch the content which is going to pop up above click on it so over here i'm just going to do my personal updates on this mxc miner so for those who are new and uh, interested in like watching this part itself i would say the miner itself costs around 2.5 thousand euros and of course using the code itself will give you a 50 dollars i mean 50 euros off so some of you guys might be thinking that it's kind of expensive to buy off and after that from there like put some investment into it but of course for the rates that they're offering in MXC token itself is basically i would say quite worth it you can break even within a year or so uh, and of course if let's say the price of MXC goes higher uh, after one year itself you will basically break even and of course profit even more and of course the calculation is basically they say on average you might get uh ten dollars ten uh ten us dollar that's the lowest times 365 you will basically get three thousand six hundred and fifty dollars and it is almost going to your ROI and of course you have to account for the fluctuation of the price so if let's say you are earning uh, on the middle range let's say $12.50 just times it by 365 days you will basically break even and make a profit of $400 over dollars within a year so I would say that this investment itself for me it looks logical and I think I can go for it and of course on my channel itself I always like invest into something before I do a review on this kind of product and of course this project that I've done my own due diligence and it seems doable and i would say that it's not for everybody's it's for those who are willing to take a risk and of course from there you have to know that whatever investment you put it down to it will definitely goes to zero that's my mindset and mentally therefore i can overcome everything so even though that i in the past itself i got scammed like i don't know 20 over thousand or even 30 over thousand through like uh legitimate projects eventually got rug pull whatsoever these kind of things i already meant uh stuck through and after that from there i have like get over with it because my mentality is every time you put in whatever money into investment take it at this zero and after that from there whatever you earn it is a bonus so on the content itself i have done a calculation 
So the expected profit they have done uh, this kind of manual calculation and the break-even time itself is from here. So if let's say you're earning $10, you'll, you'll, you'll be basically breaking even in 288 days. 89, just round it up. So for $11 is this amount, so on and so forth. So the earliest the amount that you can break even is around 9, 193 days when running this miner itself. And of course, over here, I would like to show you my own personal record. So I already did down. I started off mining at the 3rd of March and after that today, it is uh, the 11th of March and after that, I'm just going to do a record down with you guys together. And of course, for the health score, I'm going to explain to you later on. And right now, we are going to jump onto the application. So over here, I have my mobile phone linked to the screen itself. And over here, you can see that this is the dashboard and you can see that the health score itself is at 99. So I'm going to explain to you later on at the health score, what is it about? But of course, right now, we are going to basically do a recording. So you can see we can, uh, there's a total mining revenue of 932. Uh, 0.23 MXC. So for the price itself, we can just head over to Coin Market Cap to understand the price. So just head over here and type MXC, and this is the token that you want to. And yeah, basically just scroll down, just type in 932.23. And after that, as of today, I have generated around 800. Uh, I mean, 83 dollars and 33 cents. And we are gonna do a recording now. So we are gonna take the price of this, snap it down, put it on the Excel sheet, and after that, we are going to put in the amount of token that i see on the app and after that the us dollar value this amount times by the amount over here and we get around 83 dollars so this is just uh within how many days so we we are not going to account for the first day uh, i mean we can account for the first day the third of march uh, and after that fourth fifth um six seven eight nine ten and eleven so around nine days i am making less than whatever is expected like ten dollars per day because one of it one of it you have to factor in is basically the price action so here you can see within seven days itself it was yeah i mean like it went quite up and down and of course it's not it is not at the highest if we look one month back itself it is yeah it is somehow breaking even back to whatever it, it is previously on the support level over here and after they have i mean like you have broke support and trying to break through the resistance so i would say this is the thing that you need to factor in basically it's uh the price action over here on this mxc token so always remember this whatever you have mined and after that for one year you did not re uh, redrew it or sell it basically if let's say it went higher and higher reach the all-time high or something or even break the all-time high you might even break even faster than expected so this is just an average calculation if let's say the price stays stagnant at every time that you enter i mean like every time they issue the money it is staying stagnant and after that from there the estimation this is just all estimation for you to break even but of course i would say if the price goes higher than expected you will break even faster and if let's say the price goes lower then of course your break even point will be further away so you have to understand the risk over here about mining and of course from here i would say it is basically exchanging your cash to MXC token instead of buying the MXC token in one lump sum itself you can basically support the network by running this device um, this kind of nodes and after that from there you can uh, they, will, they will basically issue you with the MXC token and of course you are contributing to the crypto network and at the same time instead of buying the mxc token your dollar cost averaging by using this miner as your first investment so this is how you can look into this and after that from there this is how i look into mining and of course for my house itself i own quite a lot of like master i mean like not master node but of course devices to host a node like previously i've done the video about uh, avado basically running your own crypto nodes and after that from the helium mining this kind of stuff that basically i use cash to do it and after that yeah basically breaking even i mean like dollar cost averaging into cryptocurrency instead of buying the token itself um, contributing to the network and of course you have to really watch this part if let's say you are really keen to get this miner itself so why all right so why i say this part itself is for those who are really keen to get into this miner itself you have to understand that when you first off get this device itself the health score that i've mentioned is around 80 80 percent why is that so it's basically the the factors that currently is being factored into this um, miners health score itself right now is still quite not quite in the early stage which which i would say only the uptime and the fuel is basically factoring into this uh minor health score but of course you can see that we have some like the gps the altitude and after that the orientation the proximity everything is like zone out that there, there is no accounting to all of this but of course i believe that all of this is not going to affect a lot but most most of this i would say the fuel itself will be the one affecting the most and of course the uptime itself and the gps altitude and of course orientation proximity i would say it is just going to cost you like maybe 
20 to 30 percent in the future if let's say you can't achieve all of this but you can achieve the art time and the fuel the fuel is basically telling you that okay you have mined this amount of tokens you have to understand this if whatever my whatever token that you have mined is shown as the fuel so for example uh, i already mined like 932.99 and after that i have not redrawn any the fuel is at 100 percent if you start redrawing this amount like maybe you just like i try okay i just try redrawing like a hundred tokens so we here we can just add or send basically i can just say send to wallet okay we can try doing something like that and after that we have to wait for 30 seconds is they're gonna just tell you oh you're about to send this amount of mxc to your own wallet and after that from that please take note that if you withdraw your mxc from the fuel your uh fuel tank itself basically they have a fuel tank whatever you mine is the amount of fuel tank that you have and after that eventually it will yeah get reduced and after that it's gonna cause your miner to not work more than expected so i would say most of the people out there they are looking at maybe after mining for maybe like uh, i don't know how many days or whatsoever maybe all right give me a while let me complete this first so from what i know that people are doing is basically mine for almost like uh, i would say a year or even like nine to nine to ten months down the road and from there they will start to redraw the fuel and after that you can see this over here is gonna change over here you can see right now if you redraw it your fuel score drops to 96.8 percent and after that from there it is showing the minus uh previously it was showing 99 percent but right now you can see it's a 97.1 percent on the health score itself so for this case itself if you want to basically recover your fuel score itself whatever you redraw so this this is the concept over here they don't want you to redraw and after that from that it is keeping the price at this moment and of course i would say the token at this price and of course if you start redrawing basically your minor efficiency is going to drop a lot and eventually you can't it is going to take freaking long for you to break even uh, if let's say you are just earning 10 uh, 11 dollars for example on the average or maybe 12 dollars by right you're going to break even at 240 days but if you keep redrawing every single month or so your basically your break even point itself is going to last you more than a year so what people do is basically after they really break even they can redraw uh, half of it and after that from their cash out and after that just let it roll and eventually they have really broke uh, broke even halfway there or something like that or some people will just go for the aggressive way whatever they have mined they have broke even they just take out their money first and after that from there let the device run itself and of course from there the minus score itself is definitely going to be affected it will never stay at 100 percent so you have to know that if let's say you start redrawing so what happened over here yep so uh, this is what you need to know and after that hope you Hope you understand what I'm saying and of course over here I am knowing to basically add back my fuel fill up all miners over here so if let's say you have more than one miner it's gonna show you like uh, more miners over here so for my case I only have one miner so yeah basically it's loading so over here I already popped the screen out and after that it's showing me uh, the amount to top up for my MXC to basically reach the 100% score itself is whatever I redrew so I redrew around we drew around like uh, basically 29.04 worth of this MXC and after that currently I want to refill it back so this is the way that they keep you basically not redraw and sell so over here what they do is basically just tell you to yeah we put back whatever you have redraw and after that from there you will reach the 100% uh, score so for those who are advanced in like trading or know how to see the chart they basically what they do is whatever they have generated for this amount of period they sell it at the peak I mean like I mean like you have to determine where's the, where's the peak and after that from there it might never come down so that's a risk that you're about to take so people will sell and maybe at this price of one dollar or so, for example the price goes to one dollar people will start selling at one dollar and after that from there when the price dips down lower they take whatever amount they, they have they just sell it I mean like they sell it and after that from there get back their USD value and once they get this USD value the price of the token tank itself they will buy back that amount of token that is needed to refill back and after that yeah basically they are in the profit of like that amount of 200 or something and at the same time they are keeping their uh, this mining fuel at a hundred percent top tier and of course mining efficiently so for my case i really refilled so yeah everything is back and after that i'm just gonna let it uh, run for longer so for my case itself why the uptime is not at hundred percent because of the uh, some technician technical error that i have faced uh, at home itself i would say the network went down and after that from there it affected the uptime right so i'm going to show you the uptime itself so over here you can see once you have the minor setup just click onto the page and over here you can see the uptime just click on see more and over here it's going to explain to you how's the uptime so for my case itself yesterday i was down for a few hours therefore you can see that the 
basically the health the health itself was low and of course when you started setting up itself for the first day itself it, my, for my day itself it is around nine hours of uptime so eventually you will start off at zero uh what is that the zero uptime and after that eventually it is going to basically calculate the seven days uptime and after that from there it's going to give you an amount like maybe if let's say you're up for almost 24 hours they are I mean like a few seconds like a few minutes of the chart itself is normal because from what uh, i have exp i mean like i have tried to go into the group itself and ask hey why is it not 24 hours i have no experience zero like uh, latency or lagging or whatsoever and of course the internet is always here always here therefore i asked the group and after that the admin just told us that all right so for the case itself you can see sometimes it is not at the 24 hours itself it's because Sometimes your internet will just go away and after that eventually it is just a millisecond or something throughout the whole day There was some like a millisecond millisecond or even a few minutes that you are It's barely noticeable and after that from there they say that alright so this is normal thing and after that from there they are, You are still getting a uh, Like basically if you lose a few 30 seconds or an hour of the day itself They are still going to credit you with the 100% health score for the uptime So for my case this is really a mistake that I've done so Definitely, I have to basically wait for a while, a while more and after that to basically meet the chart over here. This is basically telling you that your health score is at 100% and after that from there, you can expect this over here. If let's say it is always good and of course 100%, if let's say it's not good, it is not 100%, maybe you will just reduce it. Just take it as a one year break even and after that, I would say it is fine for a device like this to break even within a year. So, I would say... Nothing much to worry about. So if let's say you are really keen to get into this mining itself, you can try to. And after that, right now you can see the GPS, altitude, proximity, and the orientation. Currently, it is not showing now. And of course, I believe that in the future, if let's say there are more updates that is ongoing for this product itself, they will definitely update it. And of course, it is going to be put to use. And yeah, basically, I've come to the end of the video. So if you like the video, kindly hit the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and of course, turn on post notification. Before we end the topic itself, I'd like to tell you that there is a scam that is ongoing that I mean, has been gone ongoing for many, many years. I mean, like, not many, many years, but of course, recently, more scam is being, uh, has been arise because of the lack of like, I believe people are getting jobless and after that the war is going on and everything so i believe that to prevent yourself from being a victim itself just head over to airdropscams.com to understand how does this airdrop token works and after that from there i will say uh it is not only on the airdrop token the concept is the same but of course it's not uh, it will just be like nft forms or after that i will say people dming you and after that i'll say in the crypto space whoever start to dm first just treat the person as a scammer even though it's let's say it is legitly me uh, DMing you to help you solve some issue but of course sometimes people will just impersonate me or impersonate other people that is that your friends or whatsoever to tell you that to give them money but of course do not fear for my case I will never ask you for money but of course if you want to support the channel use the link down below only and of course if you want to send me money for my content that I'm doing a good job or whatsoever feel free to send me whatever you that whatever it is I appreciate every single sense and of course it helps the channel a lot so note that I will not PM you and of course I, I mean I will PM you sometimes if let's say you head over to the group and ask for some questions and you want it to be a private or whatsoever okay I will PM you but of course I will never ask a single cent out of you so I've come to the end of the video if you like it kindly hit the thumbs up and of course I'm going to see you on the next one bye bye peace